That is a slab. That's a couple of pounds for sure. That's the good ones. High five. Welcome to another wild adventure with the wild game. Today we are speck fishing in the great state of Florida. We're going to be on the St. John's River today. When we had Queen 70. Where'd you Probably some of the best days of the lot. So. I'm excited too. Speck fishing. Let's go. This is like the best day of my life. I get to go speck fishing and I got to see the legend himself, Captain Bill. Listen. We even got invited to anoint the water and pray for the water with these nice ladies. Hello. Tell us what we're doing here today. We came to pray over the waterways uh, in Florida, prayers and uh, scripture. For the health of the water? For the yeah. protection, protection of the water against, protection. against the terrorists. But not against fishermen, right? Oh, no. no, 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 no okay. no, no. <laughs> Gracie, can you drive the boat? Good girl. All right, bring us a little bit to the left. Perfect. Let's go hit that spot up there. Well, that didn't take long. We're gonna look for a little bit bigger ones, but what we're doing is we're just, uh... sorry, Gracie, did you wanna see that before I let it go? Yeah, this wind and current is uh, making it difficult, but basically just working these edges of the mats. The hyacinth and the dollar weed seem to be good. I'm using the trolling motor to keep me up next to it. There's a bite. Yo, there we go. Looking for big ones. Oh, let them go. Let them go, baby. There you go, Greasy. There's the speck. Another little guy. Say bye bye. There he is. There's a big one, Gracie. That's one we'll keep. Oh yeah, that's the ones we're looking for. That's the good ones, high five. Good girl. Almost keeper. Kissy. So what I'm doing, the current's strong, the wind's strong, so I'm having to either suck up tight and stop for a second against the edge, or just drift down it. And when I'm drifting down it, I'm just swimming my bait. Different depths, little jigs here and there. And then just using the trolling motor to try to keep myself in, in line. It's about five foot deep here. And you'll see I only have about a foot and a half or two foot of line out. Ooh, there we go. That one was sitting right there on that back side of that where the current comes down. There's these little sweeps where it's a little easier to get in on. And uh, I think that one's a keeper. Gracie, you thirsty? I got a monster. Get the net, Gracie, get the net. Woo! That is a slab! Woo! Now, I ain't no professional speck fisherman or anything, but that might be the biggest one I've caught. That's a couple of pounds for sure. Woo! That's big. Huge. Wow. That's a good one. Is that one for dinner? Yeah, long pole, white tube jig with the chartreuse head is 100% the, the ticket. Let's see if we can get some more. Definitely eat and spec for dinner. That's a 
another keeper. What do you think, Gracie? All right, we're on them now. Here's your midday update. Actually, we've only been out here about an hour. We've caught 10 fish. I have four in the cooler. We're only keeping big ones. There he is. Oh, look at there, old stump knocker. If he was a little bigger, we'd definitely keep him. Give me a kissy. Give me a kissy. The bite seems to have turned off, so we're gonna go in. If you stick around, I'll show you the fish we got, how we clean them, and how we're gonna cook them tonight. And a little spoiler alert, we're not frying them. Now that we got the specs cleaned up, I'm gonna um, cook them. And I'm doing something a little bit different, not your regular old breaded and fried specs. We're gonna um, do a really easy recipe. Put that on a crack of dude. And if you notice, I got a bird on my shoulder. He's a very mean bird, but he's nice when he's out of his cage most of the time. And he was being so loud he was being so loud, it was impossible to film without taking him out. Yeah. So I told you I was going to be cooking the specs a little bit different. We're going to be doing Florida Swamp Surf and Turf. Shh. Florida Swamp Surf and Turf. The turf portion is this right here. This, you probably don't recognize this deer, but let me refresh your memory. It's the most amazing thing to be able to get your own food hot smoked sausage we're gonna throw those on the grill and i'm gonna throw some asparagus in the oven also and we'll make it look all nice and pretty stay tuned for the finished result well there you have it fresh from the swamp to the dinner plate we have surf and turf Grilled venison sausage and specs caught today. Thank you guys for coming with me. I'll see you on the next one.